You guys, this view is unbelievable. Take a look. This is I arrive in Vietnam and quickly make my way to a magical place I've seen in so many pictures, a place called Ha Long Bay. I'm fortunate to have landed in Hanoi, which is only a three hour bus ride away. But more on Hanoi later. I pay for my bus ticket around $5 and I'm packed in with other tourists. When I arrive, I'm warmly greeted by a flock of tour guides who want to help take some money off my hands. Thanks for the gesture. At my hotel, I secure a boat tour because there's really no other way to see this place. Our boat is a Chinese junk, an old wooden ship that makes one feel like he's living the pirate life. The bay is littered with over 15,000 limestone islets. Each topped with thick jungle vegetation. They rise from the ocean as large pillars and steep cliffs. A lot of these islands are hollow, and so there are hundreds of caves here. So we're going to explore one. It's hard to believe, but this cave is just one out of many. A lot of these islets have caves, and many of them haven't even been explored yet. This cave is huge. We've been walking through it for about 10 minutes already. So we're on T-Top Island, which is one of the best viewpoints in Ha Long Bay. You have to hike up 400 steps to get there. Let's go.
Okay, I know I've said this about 10 times while I've been in Southeast Asia, but Halong Bay, I don't know, it's hard to compare to Bagan, El Nido, and Le Lake, all the most beautiful places in this part of the world. But Halong Bay might top them. Halong Bay is the number one tourist attraction in all of Vietnam. And although it's really touristy, it's one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. This is the best spot in all of Halong Bay to take a photograph. The best part about this viewpoint is that not many people know about it. Not many tourists come here. I have this place all to myself. Come to think about it, maybe I shouldn't tell you. Nah, I've already seen it. This is how you get here. It's easy enough to get here, but you'll want to rent a scooter to do this. Chances are you'll be staying in the main city, which is called Bai Chai. It's about a 20 minute ride and you'll want to go east over the bridge to Yet Kyu. The place you're looking for is called Poem Mountain, but the locals know it by the name of Noi Bai To. Look for this car repair shop on Le Tong Tong Road. It won't look like much, but right to the left of where they're working, there's a very small stairway in a dark alley. I know, it doesn't sound right, and it doesn't look right, but it is. Go up the stairs, follow the corridor, and just follow the path through this gate. Right now we're climbing up to Poem Mountain, or Nui Bai To. So the people that live next to these cliffs, the cliffs are basically in their backyard. And so when you get here, you go up this narrow corridor of stairs, and then you get to the mountains. Well, somebody very unofficial looking will come up to you and demand some money. Don't be alarmed. That is the price you pay, a very small price to pay for coming up here. So you'll pay the lady or the guy 10 dong, which is about half a dollar. So I spent the day in the boat getting, getting in a lot of Halong Bay, but I just didn't get the view that I really wanted. So we're gonna try over here. Like it's tough. Well, it looks like we're almost there. Oh, 